The master plan is being created to serve as a guide for the citizens to help the city adapt to the changes in demographics and economic conditions. The last master plan in Nagani was made in 1999 and no longer correlates with the needs of the community. According to city officials, the master plan requires a large amount of input from members of the community in order for it to live to its fullest potential. The citizens of Nagani are asked to give input to come out with a vision of where what they want Nagani to look like in 20 years and then give input on how to get there. Nagani residents will be receiving a survey with their next city utility bill to voice their opinions. That same survey can be found online at abc10up.com. The master plan serves as a to-do list for the city and is open to any concern from ATV and snowmobile trails to developing strategies for economic growth. So we look at recreation, we look at uh, utilities, we look at streets, uh, we look at the makeup of our community. Are we a bedroom community? Uh, do we have uh, industry, manufacturing here, and also we look at zoning, parks and recreation, all sorts of things. It's a, it's a comprehensive plan. In order to create a sufficient master plan that truly reflects the needs of the citizens and recognizes what changes need to be made is a lengthy process. It all starts with people filling out their survey forms. For ABC 10 and CW5, I'm Caleb Scanlon.